system became a reality thanks to a patent on this day in 1884. America's Cameron Kramer explains the significance of L.M. Richardson's invention. More than 12 million people owned a pair of roller skates in 2013, and it's not a shocking statistic. The objects are the necessary tool that enables skating parties, as well as a very unique type of fast food service, and the sport of hockey to be played without the need for a sheet of ice. But roller skates, at least as we know them, took a big step forward on this day in 1884. Roller skates date back to before the 1800s and John Joseph Merlin, but those early skate designs were bulky and not very maneuverable. James Plimpton's four-wheeled roller skate, the quad skate, helped change that significantly in 1863, but the design still wasn't perfect. Enter L.M. Richardson's patent that he received on December 9, 1884. Richardson's design called for the use of steel ball bearings and skate wheels. The bearings enabled wheels to turn freely and easily, not only allowing the skater to corner better, but do so at higher speeds. As an object moves across a surface, it produces friction, but rolling reduces that friction. Just as roller skates allow a person to glide along the ground, the bearings in the wheels also help reduce friction. Skate designs continue to evolve through the decades, but the basic design using bearings was, and still remains, the standard. Roller skates played a prominent role in this 1916 Charlie Chaplin silent film called The Rink. Speaking of rinks, they rose in popularity after the post-World War II baby boom, when roller skating parties became a childhood entertainment staple. Hollywood once more took notice in 1955's It's Always Fair Weather with Gene Kelly. The 1970s changed roller rinks into roller discos, and a young Patrick Swayze made his big screen debut in 1979's Skate Town USA. Skate Town USA. It's heaven on wheels, and it's heading your way. Around that time, two Minnesota brothers, Scott and Brennan Olson, invented the roller blade. Skating's popularity fluctuated over the following decades, but thanks to the invention that modernized the object on this day in 1884, skating still has a role in American culture. Cameron Kramer, One American News.